Hello folks, welcome in to another FC24 video. My name is Ash or Brummer18. This time around, I want to show you guys a set of sliders that I have been using for a more realistic and entertaining gameplay experience here on FC24. This is currently for world-class difficulty. I've got another video coming out for legendary difficulty as well. So stay tuned to the channel, keep an eye out for that one. And with that being said, roll the intro and let's get stuck into it. So I'm going to start off with an important notice because I always like to in these slider videos. A lot of people always come into the comments and will say this is too easy, etc, etc. Um, and then they don't want to do the solution that I do suggest. But the solution is this. If you are finding these sliders too easy, you don't want to move up a difficulty, you must, must, must start to change the manual controls. We have a scroll down here. You'll see I'm doing a lot of kind of semi-manual. That is what I'm doing at this moment in time. So precision start assistance is semi-manual and then going down everything through pass lob pass ground pass cross assistance lob pass all of this assistance is on semi-manual for me and that's what i'm doing not currently all the way to fuma yet but on the way to it playing full manual is ultimately going to give you the most realistic experience it separates the men from the boys and there is no better way to put that so i guess with me on semi-manual for everything i guess i'm kind of like neither a man nor a boy i'm like a young man Right, let's get cracking into the settings then. Starting off with the game settings, I know you guys will want to see the match and the camera settings, etc. So we'll quickly go through this. Half length, I like anything between five minutes and seven minutes. I find that when I start having longer half lengths, obviously you're just going to get more goals and it, you just want to cut down the chance of it being more 5 4 games all the time. Obviously, with FIFA being such a high scoring game and very end to endy, that's what we're trying to cut out. So for me, I find a nice balance to be somewhere between five and seven. Six is probably a nice balancing point. Difficulty level, naturally world-class. Player, player based difficulty, you can opt between what you prefer, but I personally have this on. It is just gonna improve the difficulty a little bit. Hopefully set star players to just do things that the other sets of players aren't going to do. Try different things, try more complicated and challenging things, lower risk percentage kind of passes and stuff. Attributes are on classic, game speed is on slow paced. And then that's it for the match settings. The camera settings, because a lot of people ask me for this, I just use the EA Sports game cam and this is what it really looks like. I don't really make any changes to it. So for the most part, it should be pretty normal, but you guys can quickly have a look at this. Also, what's important to me is that I have the power shot zoom to off. That is so annoying, such an irritating feature. Uh, so immediately I'll turn that off. With the rules, injuries, offsides, bookings naturally on. Now handball, what we spoke about in the past on the channel is I do want this to on, but the thing is, because the game can't distinguish what actually is handball, if it just hits the arm, they will just give it regardless of if they're down by side or anything like that. So what I do is I have it on except penalties so that you're going to get more set piece situations, more set pieces, but they're not going to necessarily be penalties which are going to influence a game. And if you if you consider a penalty because it's naturally hit the player's arm, even though his arms are like this, you're going to be pretty frustrated. So we've got this on except penalties. Referee strictness is set to strict just so, again, we can get more set pieces and just adds a little bit more flavor, a little bit more variation to your game. So let's talk about the sliders, but quickly before we do, I quickly want to say if you want to see exclusive tactics videos only for FC24 that aren't available on YouTube, behind the scenes videos of my football scouting career and that sort of thing, Discord server access, access to the tactics package and a whole lot more, check out my Patreon, the best way to support the channel lots of fantastic lovely people kindly continuing to support the channel and they are what is keeping the channel going and alive at this point so i want to say a huge thank you to them do go and check it out the link is down below let's talk about the sliders then starting off with the user team sprint speed is on 20 acceleration is on 50 now i've opted against doing this for the first couple of years that i was doing sliders because i thought it would give too much of an advantage to players with kind of a, a higher sprint speed or, or lower acceleration etc um, but it does just seem to work and it stops you being able to just kind of sprint up and down the pitch constantly if anything um the shot error is on 65 for you remember that only affects normal shots not kind of finesse etc and the pass error is also on 65 if you're playing on manual make sure that your shot and pass error are actually on 50 normal because then it's almost going to be impossible to score more than anything uh, shot speed is on 50 kept the same pass speed is on 40 again just trying to stop it being so end to endy more than anything 
Injury frequency up to 65, but the severity is 30. This will give you a nice balance. You're not going to have players going off all the time, but you need more injuries. Um, you know, in football, in real life, what happens? You'll find players going off an injury almost every game. So that's what we're trying to replicate here. Goalkeeper ability is on 50. Positioning marking, in the end, I've kept it to 50. If you up this or decrease this, it just, it just doesn't work properly. It doesn't work the way in which we want it to. The marking could be more efficient in this game, but the sliders just don't really do it. You're getting too many players kind of getting dragged out of position all the time. Run frequency is on 15, making it less end-to-endy, -end more calculated, more balanced. The line height up to 60. Again, I've toyed with this being 60 and 50 because as the user, you can decide on the block, but ultimately it still isn't high enough. It still doesn't play into your press if you do have a high press. So we've got this up to 60. The length is down to 40, making sure that there isn't too much room in between each vertical or horizontal line, I should say. You've still got that emphasis on you know, kind of the attacking players being able to, to step up and press. Width is down to 45. Fullback positioning pushed up to 70 this time. We know what fullbacks are like this time. And it's going to help more so with the inverted fullbacks than anything. It does a really good job of helping replicate that if you do play one. Power bar, this is down to you. I personally have it up a little bit to 56. And then the first touch control error is on 90. But let's talk about the CPU turn, a couple of changes. Sprint speed and acceleration still on 2050. This time the shot error is on 70 because you'll find that the CPU generally will just employ normal shots they won't do finesse shots and that sort of thing um, so we've upped that a little bit and also the same with the pass error as well that's up to 70 sprint shot speed still on 50 and the pass speed on 40 injury frequency and severity both of these are also the same goalkeeper ability and marking onto 50 run frequency 15 line height is on 60 and then the line length on 40 line width on 45 fullback positioning 70 and a first touch control error is on 90. so with that being said we're going to finish it there thank you so much for watching everyone make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time i upload don't forget to check out my patreon as i spoke about earlier in the video great way to support the channel and until the next one i've been ash and i will see you soon